Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time for our donation unboxing video for June. Yay! And we got some stuff in the month of June, which means we can do one of these videos. Uh, before we get started, I want to remind everyone, as I always do, that you do not have to send anything to the channel. I'm happy just to have you here and watching the videos, and so thank you for just being here. Uh, I don't ask for donations, uh, and it's nobody should ever feel obligated to send anything. Uh, some people have enjoyed helping the show out and sending some things in, uh, so if you would like to send a donation, I will put on the screen the address where you can send stuff, but again, please never feel obligated to do that. If you do send something, uh, I, I will make sure that I put it on camera as a way of thanking everyone uh, who helps the show out by sending donations in. Uh, I will put your donations in a video like this uh, so I can share it with everyone. I'm trying to do one of these unboxing videos every month. So if I get any donations for the month, then I will do a donation unboxing video. If I don't get anything in, then I won't do one, and that's kind of how it works. It's kind of up to you whether or not uh, we do one of these videos each month. Well, we definitely got some stuff for June, uh, so I'm gonna open this up. I know what some of it is, but uh, some of the other stuff I don't know. So uh, let's open it up and see what people sent. The first thing we have is actually not a package, it is a letter. It's a letter from the United States kingdom uh, with a stamp with the queen on it right there uh, and this actually brings back memories from when I would get letters from England from uh, my friend Shane who moved over there and he's the one that first told me about Action Force when he came back to the United States um, so this is a letter and uh, this letter is from uh, let's see, this letter is from, uh, well, it's from Northumberland, England, and it's from Gary Watson. Gary uh, Watson uh, sends this handwritten letter, and I'm going to take a moment and read this letter. All right, I'm not going to read the entire letter um, on this video just because it's lengthy, uh, but it's really uh, fun to read. Um, Gary talks about um, his experiences with Action Force uh, and, you know, what he's enjoyed on the channel lately, including the Hammer video. Uh, he talks about some uh, some G.I. Joe characters that had their names changed and their countries of origins changed uh, when they were translated to Action Force in the UK uh, and how Action Force had more of an international feel to it. Um, he also um, speculates about what what would it be like if G.I. Joe were set in Marvel's Earth 616 universe? Now that's a very intriguing idea. Um, and um, and he, he goes over some of his thoughts about uh, what the consequences might be if you had G.I. Joe actually in the Marvel universe. Um, and he's got a list of his uh, favorite um, G.I. Joe uh, figures and vehicles. Uh, and it's a really good list of some awesome stuff. Uh, so, Gary, thank you very much for this letter. Now, this letter, like all other letters I receive, uh, I am keeping. I keep every single letter that has been sent to me. Um, a lot of times inside, like, boxes, I'll get letters from people. people and it's really, I think, extraordinary to get letters nowadays, uh, actual handwritten letters from people. Um, so thank you for all of the things that you sent to me. And as I've said before, I'm never going to get rid of these. These are going to uh, going to stay with me. Um, I've got them all collected in one place so that I never lose them. Um, and so, uh, Gary Watson, thank you very much for this. And I will be keeping this as a wonderful memento of, uh, of you joining us on this collecting journey uh, and looking at G.I. Joe and Action Force. So thank you very much for that. The next thing is from Chris Pierce. And I already know what it is because I already opened it. I was really curious to see uh, what he sent and what he sent is awesome uh, wait till you see this this is great this is something I had been I'd had my eye on and was thinking of buying uh, but he went ahead and got it for me and that is Larry Hama conversations let me zoom in so you can see the cover uh, that's right conversations with Larry Hama uh, the writer of the GI Joe comic book and somebody who has uh, contributed so much to G.I. Joe um, and yeah this is um, 
by Christopher Irving, and I have been very curious about what's in this. So uh, thank you very much, Chris. Um, I was very tempted to bring it with me to Joe Fest uh, and read it on the way, but I, if I had, I wouldn't have had time to read it. Uh, I was just too busy. But now that I'm home, um, I, I want to read this whole thing um, because I have been uh, curious about some things um, in Larry Hama's background, uh, in his personal philosophy and worldview, and I'm really hoping uh, that this will dive into it and uh, give me a little window into the psyche of uh, the person who uh, is, you know, the, the intellectual father of G.I. Joe, our G.I. Joe at least. So uh, thank you for this, Chris, and I'm going to start reading this probably as soon as I'm done with this video. This next box is from Sean Beckett. So Sean, thanks for sending this to me. Uh, he did tell me generally what he was going to send, so I have a pretty good idea of what's in here. Uh, but I haven't actually peeked to see what is in here exactly, so uh, I'm going to open this now. I did already cut, I, I cut the boxes open so they would be easier for me to open here on camera. Uh, so let's open it up, and right on the top I see a letter. A letter from Sean. Uh, it's a typewritten letter and he says here's your donation for your channel uh, you will surely put these uh, items to better use than I am right now and I'm just pleased to add whatever I can to the already great and comprehensive content of your reviews thank you very much thank you Sean uh, oh and you'll notice I included uh, two yes two of uh, the Shadow Ninja's Snake Eyes, thanks. Uh, because I'm guessing that you probably would want to keep one of those beauties meant on card, displayed proudly, proudly on your wall uh, as a uh, constant reminder of the glory that the G.I. Joe toy line had become uh, in 1993. Treasure it, my friend. Uh, thank you, I I'll consider framing it. Uh, I, might, I may put that in a frame. Uh, hey, you know, um, candidate for AFA grading? Should I get it graded? Hmm, think about that. Uh, in conclusion, I'll just say that I've been enjoying your reviews for years now and wish I had um, interacted more in the comments and chats earlier because I'm really enjoying talking with the community that you've, uh, uh, that you've assembled or that has assembled around you. And a, a great community. I have to say thanks to everyone who watches the videos and comments and uh, participates in the live streams and Facebook and Twitter and all that. Um, I, 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 I've got a great group of people, uh, G.I. Joe fans, um, you know, watching these videos. And I don't take credit for that because you guys are the awesome ones. Uh, but I just feel very lucky to have you guys here. Uh, I see a lot of other YouTube channels uh, and a lot of a lot of other fandoms um, have just a lot of toxicity and a lot of turmoil uh, in their interactions. But we don't have a lot of that here, and that is due to uh, you watching this. And I, I'm grateful for that, and I want to say thank you for that. Um, I especially look forward to your panel at Joe Fest, though I won't be there. And as far as reviews, well, I'm probably most excited to see what you have to say about the bat. Uh, okay, I'll work on that. Uh, given that I know about your G.I. Joe related tastes and preferences, I'm curious to see what judgments you, m uh, you make about the figure and character. Um, have a great time at Joe Fest and keep those videos and live chats coming strong. Yo, Joe, Sean Beckett. Thank you very much, Sean. Uh, we're gonna keep uh, keep them coming, and I did have a really great time at Joe Fest. So now let's see what's in the box. All right, this, I will keep this letter uh, along with the other one. Make sure I don't lose that. Uh, we have some packing material. Very good. Got to keep things safe while they are in transit. Um, and we have what we have here. I tell you generally what we have here. What we have is a bunch of a lot of mint on card 90s figures like Like Colonel Courage a figure that I like a lot um, You've got oh, I see a vehicle. I see a vehicle um, and I've got Outback carded and um, I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the vehicle out. I should probably save that for last. No, I'll save that for last. Um, here we've got Gung Ho and General Flag. And it, you know, I really do like getting these uh, 90s uh, figures carded. If you're, 
interested in carded G.I. Joe figures, domestic figures anyway. Um, uh, 90s figures are still out there and you can still find them. And, I mean, just look at that. <laughs> it's a Shadow Ninja's uh, Night Creeper. <laughs> what a crazy thing. Uh, and there's Bushido. Uh, so we've got some Ninja Force. Um, and uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's uh, Shadow Ninja's Storm Shadow and um, uh, Payload uh, from Star Brigade. Uh, and some of these I did not have. I mean, uh, I, actually, most of these I did not have. I have some of the figures loose, uh, but uh, and I have a, like a small set of carded 90s figures, not a lot of them. So there's a lot of stuff that's actually new to me here. Uh, there's Wild Bill and Snowstorm. Don't worry, I'll carefully put these back in the box when I'm done so that I don't mess them up. But for now, they're just I'm just pulling them out so I can show you. There's Frostbite, uh, and there is Ozone. Uh, got some Star Brigade with Ozone there. Um, and uh, let's see, oh, one's falling over. Uh, there is Cross Country. And, yep, there, there they are. There they are. Uh, two, count them, two Shadow Ninjas Snake Eyes. Because uh, you can never have too many, right? Uh, so there, um, those are the carded figures, and the vehicle is, let me turn it the right way, the vehicle is the Mudbuster, uh, and this appears to still be sealed, it is, it's still sealed in the box. Um, I gotta be truthful, I am very tempted to uh, pop this open and assemble it. You may see that in a future video. Um, because I, this is uh, an interesting vehicle to me. Uh, I don't really know what I think about it. Um, I really need to see it uh, in person to really pass judgment on it. And opening it fresh from the box and assembling it, that might be a way to do it. So I hope you don't mind, Sean, um, if I do that. Uh, but I'm thinking about it. I'm not guaranteed, but I'm thinking about it. But there's the Battle Corps Mudbuster right there. Uh, so thank you for these, Sean. Uh, they do help, uh, and I really appreciate them. Um, and yeah, there's some there's some new stuff for me here. And uh, plus, it's just kind of cool to have some carded figures, even though I'm not uh, a collector of carded figures. Sometimes they're just kind of cool to have. Do you feel that way? If you if you collect loose figures, and you uh, for one way or another pick up a carded figure. Um, do you have that feeling where it's, it's still kind of cool to have it? Because uh, I do, I, I do. Uh, so thank you, Sean, for this. Thank you very much. Okay, everything is uh, now safely back in the box, so I didn't mess anything up. Um, I do have a space now where I am uh, storing my carded figures so they don't get damaged. Um, I had just been keeping the carded stuff kind of higgledy-piggledy here and there. Uh, but now I have a special place for them. Uh, they won't get damaged and I'm going to put these in uh, my special storage container for them um, so that I can find them when I need them. So uh, thanks for that. Um, and now uh, we're moving on to the big box. This one is from Thomas Hagen. And again, I think I generally know what's in here. Um, if I remember what he said he was going to send. Uh, I did cut the tape, but I haven't opened the contents. So let's open it up and see what we got uh, from Thomas. And first we have some packing material uh, and more packing material. And that's good because uh, if it is what I think it is, then we gotta make sure this doesn't get damaged. It could be a little fragile. Okay, um, yes, he, he has packed this in here, um, I think, perfectly to make sure that it's not damaged. And we have some, we have some uh, bigger stuff and we have some smaller stuff, and I'm going to remove some of the packing material and take out the smaller stuff first. Um, so let me make sure that I can get to it. Um, okay, let's see. Well, that's, that's part of the bigger stuff. Um, here we have... Um, I'll zoom in so you can see as soon as I find my remote. There we go. Uh, let's zoom, zoom, zoom. Um, and here uh, is the Heli Viper. The Heli Viper with file card and, of course, blueprints for the battlecopter that he came with. Uh, the Heli Viper 
Uh, what a crazy figure. This is always a figure that's kind of perplexed me. Um, but uh, yeah, there he is in all of his glory. And also, here is Ace. Not the Sky Striker Ace, but the Ace that came with the G.I. Joe Battlecopter. So, uh, not a bad Ace figure. Actually, a really nice Ace figure. Uh, make sure I get it on in frame there so you can see him. Uh, I like this Ace figure. Um, I also like the one that came with the Ghost Striker, but this one also is really good. Um, so, there is that. And to go with that, I might as well show you. Uh, we have some zip cords and some handles for battle copters. Uh, I'm going to zoom this out because I think I'm getting things out of frame here. Uh, so let's widen that. There we go. All right, let's do it this way. There we go. So you know what these are, right? These go with the battle copters. And let's see. Uh, so I want to be careful with how, about how I take this stuff out uh, because I want to be very careful with it. Um, let's see. Let me see what this part is. Uh, see, this is probably the stuff I should do off camera and just show you the, the big reveal. But uh, we're going to do this on camera and do it carefully. Although that tape is quite tight and, yeah, I see what it is. This tape is quite tight and I'm going to need a knife for it. So I'm going to pause this just for a second and I'm going to go ahead and cut a tape off of things so I can actually take this out and show you what it is. I have to admire your packing job, Thomas, and this, of course, this is the battle copters. Of course, you knew the battle copters would be in there, uh, so there you go. Uh, in red and blue, um, and, the, and the black ones, um, and I'm curious if I can get these to fly better than the one that I had that uh, came with the uh, with, uh, interrogator. So, uh, yeah, some, uh, all right, G.I. Joe and a Cobra Battle Copter. Uh, so thank you for these, Thomas. That's not all that's in here. Let me finish opening this stuff. Uh, and this is special. I put some of the parts for this back in the box just so I could keep track of them while I was pulling the Battle Copters out. But we will be keeping a helicopter theme. Um, let me carefully remove the excellent packing material. And this is that we got a sticker to put back on there no problem uh, this is oh a couple stickers that's okay uh, come on out of there carefully carefully this is the desert Apache um, this is I believe what a sonic fighters vehicle if I'm not mistaken um, and uh, it's a GI Joe vehicle that's not talked about very much uh, kind of a forgotten vehicle uh, but uh, kind of a cool looking vehicle and yeah the, the rest of it is here we've got the the helicopter blades and uh, we have a little handle grip that goes with it um, and uh, it, it does have the stickers some of the stickers are are in here um, I will have to re-glue some of the stickers but that is no problem at all I can do that uh, but uh, I've always been curious about this vehicle. I, there is not a lot of information about it out there, um, and it's one that I'd like to take a look at. So uh, thank you, Thomas. This is special. This is something that I didn't have at all um, and probably would not have acquired myself for quite some time. So this helps. This really helps. Um, so, and I don't know when I will be able to do a full review on it, uh, but um, but now I can do a full review because I have it, um, and I, I'm just I'm just very curious. I'm I'm gonna play around with this because I just want to learn everything about this. So that's it. That's everything that I got. Thank you very much. Uh, it looks like the lighting has changed behind me, so it looks like the sun is setting. Um, I just wanted to assemble some of this uh, before I finish this video. Uh, but thank you again for this. Thank you to everyone. Thanks for the letters. Uh, thanks for the toys. And thanks for just for being here. Um, this is a journey that we are taking together. Um, I am just enjoying having you guys along. 
Uh, I enjoy having you guys watching the videos, and so um, I can't thank you enough. Uh, this has really meant a lot to me. Um, so once again, uh, you, you don't have to send anything. That, that's very special to me when you do, but I don't ask for that. Uh, I just am happy having you around. Um, if you do want to send stuff, once again, I'll put the, the address on the screen. Uh, if we get more stuff in July, then I will do an unboxing video for July. If, if not, then that's absolutely fine. Um, but uh, my deepest thanks to everyone. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming. Uh, Cobra Convergence is coming. Uh, and we've got a lot of work to do. But it's going to be great. It's going to be worth it. So uh, thanks for watching. And I will see you soon with more G.I. Joe stuff. Um, I'll see you next time.